friends? Welcome back to Love and It's Story. This is my friend Corey. Say hello. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about tattoos because me, myself, I have two and he has two, right? Meow. I actually have three. Three. I've oh, got yeah. Hope three. On my knuckles. Um, I've got my Blue Rose of Hope and I've got my classic American style tattoo, Wolf. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got that cool. one when I was in the military. He's a Marine. Awesome. Support the U.S. and go enlist or not. It's up to you. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, apparently. Um, I have two. One, I have a semicolon, which I'll go ahead and pop up a picture. Um, it's It healed up really nice. It was a really great tattoo for my first tattoo. I got it on my ankle. Now, the ankle apparently is the most painful spot besides your ribs to get it for your first tattoo. Really didn't hurt that bad. Well, according to other people, it is. He doesn't understand. My personal experience is that the line work doesn't hurt as bad as the shading. Because when you're shading a tattoo, you have to do certain pressures and you have to be kind of light about it. And it's also like a wider needle range. Whereas a line work is just a few needles very close together. So that didn't really hurt that bad. I just twinged a little bit because, you know, stupid nerves and stuff. My second one is my bird. And it's a musical note bird. I'll go ahead and pop up another picture of it. Um, it represents how I'm whimsical. I love music. I love singing. And the fact that my grandfather passed away about a year and a half ago and he really liked birds and his favorite bird was the cardinal. Well, I didn't want to make it red. I wanted to kind of keep it with my favorite colors. So I just chose bird and I'm like, hmm, this will look cool. Uh, I'm hoping to get a cardinal somewhere else to represent my grandfather. I'm not sure. We'll see. My next tattoo I'm hoping is going to be some more music notes and then like a little dragonfly right here on my hip. When I get that done, I'll make a video about it and I'll go ahead and put it up and be like, hey guys, this one didn't hurt that bad. Or hey guys, this one was the most excruciating pain I've ever had. We'll see. But this one itself, again, the outlining and the black didn't hurt that bad. But when he was putting in these colors, I wanted to die. The last thing you want to do is take a break between a tattoo because of how bad it hurts when you go back to it and your adrenaline rush nips back down. Now, Corey, give your opinion on your tattoos because I didn't have that bad of pain, <laughs> but he probably did a little more. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. He's tough cookie. I can't really say tattoos don't hurt because uh, everybody's got a different range of uh, pain tolerance. Uh, however, when you're doing the lining on the work on tattoos, it's not as bad as doing the shading. The shading hurts a little bit more. Um, me personally, my very first tattoo was my wolf and I clenched up for it and he started going and I actually was like, this isn't that bad. I fell asleep during my first tattoo. So there are certain areas on the body that hurt more when you get near sensitive areas like the nip and anywhere near bones, anywhere near bones. When he started getting up near my collarbone up here, it hurt a lot more. Tell you the truth, I, honestly, the getting tattoos is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. If you get one, make sure you know what you want. Make sure it's something that's symbolic to you. It has meaning. Get something colorful. I mean, I mean, you do you. Yeah, tattoos are bad. I mean, they don't hurt. I mean, depending on where you get them. But I have a high pain tolerance, so I like them. I intend to get more. This entire arm is going to be completely covered. The healing process can go from very long to very short. My semicolon, it took... I think three weeks and then about two more weeks after that to completely heal. I do have scar tissue, but that's just because I scar very easily. He's going to go in and touch it up for free. Same thing with my arm. I have a little bit of scar tissue, but this one peeled the next day. Now keep your stuff out of the sun or else you're going to get sunburned and it's going to ruin the ink. It's going to draw everything out and it's going to look like crap. I, however, have kept the lotion on it, kept it very moisturized and I didn't put it under direct water. If you put it under direct water when it's fresh, you're gonna suck all of that tattoos out again. Or petroleum, do not use petroleum products because it will ruin the ink. It will make it bleed more. And the last thing you wanna do is scratch it. Do not scratch it. Pat it, slap it, ignore it. Don't put itch medicine on it, that'll ruin it. Just smack it. If you scratch it, you're gonna ruin the ink and you're gonna scar easier and you're gonna have more scar tissue. So the less you scratch it, the less you pick at it, the better it's going to look. Come from experience where I can't stop picking at stuff, I stop myself from touching this one. You just let everything flake off on its own. No matter how gross it looks, no matter how bad it looks, just let it go. Let it be itself. Corey, what was your experience with healing? Each of my tattoos were different. Like, when I got mine, 
first of all, make sure if you're going to get a tattoo, make sure you have a couple of weeks or maybe a week or two or whatever to be able to just sit and relax, um, depending on where you work at and what your job type is, the type of conditions, how often you're going to be using that area of your body. When I got my first tattoo, I was home on leave. So I had a whole week before I had to go back. Even then, once I got back, I, it was still in a little bit in the healing process. But my first tattoo, my wolf healed up really quick. I just stayed consistent. I kept it out of the sun, put the ointment and stuff like that. That's all that you need and that's required. The tattoo artist will recommend stuff. Or if not, just ask them what to put on it. Yeah, the, the first one healed up really well. Um, my second one I got was my hope tattoo on my knuckles. Recommendation, make sure you get stuff professionally done. Um, the first time I got my Hope tattoo, it wasn't professionally done and it didn't turn out that well. Second time around, I went and got it touched up, got it fixed. It turned out really nice. I had to stay off that hand for a while. I didn't want to move it around a lot. I kept it out of the sun. It ended up healing up quite nice. Um, unfortunately for us darker complected people, <laughs> mixed people, black people, all of us dark people, tattoos for us with color and tattoos in general are a little bit harder for us. People with nice bright complexions. <laughs> Go for color. Color shows up on you guys really, 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 really well. From what it was, it was a really, really bright, beautiful blue. I wear a lot of cut-off sleeve shirts, and I work outside a lot. After a while of keeping out of the sun, eventually it's just going to start getting in the sun. I mean, I went down to Florida not that long ago, so of course, naturally, it's going to start to fade, and you're going to start getting a little bit of uh, tattoos. It's just how they are. They just fade just in sunscreen, time. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Everywhere. So. No matter what. With the rose, though, I mean, it, it still healed just like the, the wolf tattoo. It healed really well. Um, as long as you keep applying the ointments, keeping out of the sun, and taking care of it. Baby it. Baby it, baby it, baby it. And don't be a pansy. Just don't touch it. You don't need to smack it. You don't need to itch it. You don't need to pick at it. Just don't touch it. Just leave it alone. It'll, it'll go away in time. Once it's fully healed, and you can touch it all you want. It'll stop itching, too. It won't itch forever, I promise. <laughs> it might seem like it, but it won't. I promise. My ankle, I don't even notice it anymore. I just notice it whenever I'm looking down at it. So, and it's very symbolic because I'm sure you guys know about the semicolon tattoo. If you don't, here's what it's about. It's about mental health with like anxiety or depression or any other mental illness, OCD, ADD, whatever. It's symbolic to me because I have severe depression. I have severe anxiety, but it makes me realize that like a semicolon in writing, you're not ending your sentence, you're continuing forward. You're having a pause and you're continuing forward. So keep that in mind for a tattoo idea. Make it unique. Make it something no one else has, whether it's a little quote in the middle of the period and the comma or a butterfly or something. Personalize it. Mine looks a little different. It's got a smaller tail than everyone else's. So kind of looks like two colons. It's cool. I love it. But if you're gonna get your first tattoo, make sure it means something to you. Think about it for a year. Make sure you want it because it is permanent. It's not going anywhere. And laser surgery is a lot more expensive than actually getting the tattoo itself. So stay classy, my friends. Toodles!